What do you pray when you have somebody in your life who you love, maybe a, a, a husband, a wife, a son, a daughter, a grandson, a granddaughter, a friend, a parent, somebody in your life, a sibling who you care about, but they're struggling. They're, they're struggling in their faith. They're struggling in their relationship with God. How do you pray for them? Well, today I want to give you a very simple little prayer that most people completely overlook, but it's very powerful. I've prayed it for my family members in the past, and I want you to know this is a powerful prayer. It's very simple. It's found in Luke chapter 22, verse 31 and 32. Let me read it to you. It says this. This is Jesus. He's talking to Peter. And he's trying to prepare him for the fact that Peter, who's, who's just proclaimed that he will never deny the Lord, Jesus is preparing him for when he will fail. And he says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you. Simon, that your faith may not fail. I pray that when you've turned back, you will strengthen your brothers. So Jesus prayed this simple prayer for Peter knowing that Peter was going to mess up. And there's three parts to the prayer. One, that you will not lose your faith, that your faith will not fail. Now, Peter was crushed, he was defeated, but he didn't really lose his faith in God. I think he lost his faith in himself. And he was discouraged. So he prayed that he would not lose his faith. I have three sons, all three of them at different points in their lives have struggled with, with situations and circumstances that have kind of crushed their faith. And I have prayed this prayer that their faith would not fail. And I can tell you God has answered that prayer. Second thing, that they will return. He says, confidently, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, not if you will turn back, but when you've turned back. Thank God that they will return. It's in them. It's been planted in them. The relationship with God is part of their life. They will return to it. God, I'm praying that they will return. They will return soon. It will be a strong return to you. And the third part, when they do, they will strengthen others. They will take what they've learned in their situation, and they will use it to minister to others. Think about Peter. He's the guy who denied Jesus three times. He was so discouraged that he just gave up and went fishing. And Jesus came and he recommissioned him in John chapter 21. And, he, and Jesus said, I want you to feed my sheep. I want you to feed my lambs. And Peter went out and did it, preached on the day of Pentecost. 3,000 people were saved and baptized as a result. Became one of the leaders of the, the very first church in history. A powerful man of God. Jesus prayed this prayer for him, and it made a difference. I want to encourage you to pray this prayer for your loved one and see what God can do. This is Dave Early. Uh, we do this basic Bible teaching every day. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can follow us on Facebook. God bless you.